Now, some months ago, a young woman called Zhao Hongxia rose to fame or notoriety overnight when she featured in a sex tape that was released online by a citizen journalist called Zhu Rei Feng. Now, the video showed Zhao in a, a compromising position with a Chongqing Communist Party official named Lei Jiangfu. Unsurprisingly, it was forwarded thousands of times. Lei was soon dismissed from his post, and police said Zhao was hired by a Chongqing businessman to film Lei and then blackmail him for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, but not only Lei was involved, another 10 officials were soon sacked amidst claims that they also appeared with Zhao in similar videos as part of a wider extortion scheme. Uh, Zhu Reifen claimed that he got the incriminating videos from police storage where they had been stashed away for a couple of years. Now Zhao and five other suspects are being prosecuted on charges of blackmail. She could face a jail term of up to 15 years. Uh, meanwhile, what has happened to Lei and the other officials since their dismissal is more of a mystery. Uh, they have been prosecuted finally but have spent much time uh, under secret uh, investigation by the Internal Communist Party Disciplinary Committee. Uh, the fates of the two participants, or the different fates of the two participants uh, of this video are being much discussed on the Chinese internet. So uh, to find out what's being said these days, let's head over now to our researcher Esther Dung in the newsroom. So Esther, first, uh, can you tell us what sort of reaction there has been to this treatment of Zhao uh, Hongxia to her, um, her prosecution? Well, I have to say that overall there's a lot of support and sympathy for her. And most net users feel she's simply being used as a patsy. Uh, like Da Ji on QQ.com, who argues, Zhao is actually an anti-corruption hero, and her contribution in this field more than make up for her sins. Uh, While well, this poster from Shanghai says, she is actually the victim who was framed here. She's just a bargaining chip in the hands of unscrupulous businessmen and corrupt officials. And some posters take issue with the possible harsh sentence Zhao could face. Uh, Ding Shi 11 says, if Zhao gets 15 years, then Lei should get at least 300. Um, and a poster on Soku.com feels that the young woman should be rewarded rather than punished. Whatever her intentions were, without her, these corrupt officials wouldn't have been exposed. And an anonymous poster from Zhejiang worries about repercussions of the harsh treatment of Zhao. If other people are going to end up like Zhao, who will dare to report corruption in the future? Well, this poster from Jiangsu feels that may be exactly the point uh, to cover up more scandals. Getting Zhao under lock and key as early as possible means saving others from exposure. A dozen Lei Zhengfus have fallen, but thousands more want to survive. Um, in fact, I could only find one post supportive of the treatment of Zhao, and uh, that was from an anonymous poster. A person with self-esteem and self-respect wouldn't do anything like her. A civilized woman won't act as sex bait. So uh, a lot of sympathy for, for Zhao Hongxia's plight, uh, and not much for the officials he was involved with, it seems. But uh, what do net users feel about what's happened to them, to these officials? Well, compared to the information available on Zhao's position and the speed of her persecution, uh, the situation of the officials seems much less clear. Uh, as party members, they've been under secret uh, uh, internal investigation for five months. Uh, what we've heard Lee, is to be prosecuted. Uh, there's no more information available. Um, and of course, that leaves room for all sorts of uh, speculation. But most net users certainly feel persecuting Zhao first is putting the cart before the horse. Um, the Yue Liang Bushou has this comparison. It's like a play with the lead roles missing and the actors standing in for them. And uh, Hao Ren from uh, Anhui paraphrases a popular anti-corruption slogan of the moment, saying, In this case, why does the government only dare to beat the flies and not the tigers? Uh, flies and tigers is a metaphor for low and high-level corrupt officials. And a poster named Huo Huo warns that even if the officials are punished, that may not be the end of it. Uh, they may get medical parole later, and they and their family are still taken good care of and lead a comfortable life. Um, and this poster summarizes the online indignation. Corrupt officials cause more indignation than Zhao, who is a victim. But still, the persecution begins with her. It again shows the authorities' complete lack of PR skills. If they said what was happening with the officials at the same time, this would avoid the impression that there's one law for the elite and another for the rest of us. 
Okay, Esther, just to wrap up uh, on a broader level, this case came to light after a citizen journalist uh, released the incriminating video online. What have net users to say about the way that uh, corruption cases have been exposed recently, many of them, it seems, by members of the public like this? Well, quite a lot. Uh, some sarcastically call this Chinese-style corruption fighting. Um, a post on QQ.com sums up a lot of the feeling about this online. Statistics show that 80% of corruption related to persecution stem from whistleblowers. Nowadays, this happens online as it's the most efficient approach. A net user posts the evidence online. If they are lucky and the post causes a sensation, the party discipline watchdog may be forced to start an investigation, uh, which prompts this poster to ask. Uh, if most crop officials are removed after online exposures, just what is the Discipline Inspection Commission doing? Uh, well, a post on Sina.com does it as, we shouldn't fall for the idea that temporary campaigns are enough to beat corruption. Instead, we need the systematic and the lawful anti-corruption efforts. And uh, let's finish the discussion with this plea from a poster named Chai Men Yan Xi. Uh, to achieve the eventual goal that people don't even consider corruption as an option and totally eradicating it is a long, slow process. But please improve the system. People need a fair social environment. Okay, thanks for that, Esther. And that was China Take researcher Esther Dung with online reaction uh, to the prosecution, uh, prosecution of that young woman uh, in the Chongqing sex video case. Uh, next up on China Take, some of the top trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.